Hello friends and welcome back to Yuppie Psycho. I completely forgot where we left off because it has been a bit of a while and as far as I'm aware we spoke to Sintra, our lovely lady in here. I don't know why I'm holding my mouse like that's got anything to do with it. I forgot what my action button is. Oh that's great. Oh no it's E. <laughs> Hi Missy. I forgot what I was doing. What am I doing? Uh, responsibilities. What should I do now? Three tasks are currently open. Unfortunately, I have very little information on them. I recommend you explore the building for clues. Collect information from employees, but always with caution. Do not reveal or raise suspicions about your true purpose. That's right. I recommend you. I recommend that you examine the wall icons if you need to hear information about each task again. Okay. I want I went to the motivational meeting. Oh my gosh, the guy's out of his mind. That's the guy on the horse. Amazing. And after everything else today, I don't even think I'm surprised. These meetings have been organized to boost your productivity and emotional worth within the company. Just so you know, he sent me a task. Supposedly I have to make a friend on the fourth floor. Okay. I see. Do you want a hug? What? Hug is the a hug is the true form of a direct discharge of oxytocin to your to your neurotransmitters, which is the same as a real hug with a duration of 20 seconds. It's not necessary, thanks. Then I ask you to prioritize the, elima the elimination of the witch. Motivational tasks are not mandatory. Don't forget that we hired you f what we hired you for, Mr. Pasternak. Oh, yes? You called me Brian before, now you've called me Mr. Pasternak again. Probably. Sorry about the mistake, Mr. Pasternak. No, no, call me Brian, please. Mr. Pasternak sounds like my father. On the outskirts, the first name is always used for young people, not the surname. Debugged error. As you wish, Brian. Okay, cool. So, the witch is immune to fire. The only way to kill her is with a ritual dagger, Atham. Until now, we haven't had any information on the whereabouts of this weapon. Well, that's good then, isn't it? It represents the identity of the witch. Until now, we only know that she had to be female. Well, it's not much help. It's not useless. According to the company employee log, 75% of the employees here are male. So you can now concentrate your search on just 25% of the pop people in this building. Oh, Mr. Population. <laughs> it represents the witch's lair. For now, the only thing we know is that it's a place with some sentimental value for her. None of this really helps. I think the best, my best bet at the moment is to literally just go to the fourth floor and make her friend. What is this? A pencil costs 100 credits, shall I buy it? No. A, re a resistant cobble box costs 250 credits, shall I buy it? No. And what's this? A sachet of powdered coffee costs 125 credits, shall I buy it? Okay, so this is the girl from thing downstairs, um, the games room or something? Hello. She can't hear me, she's listening to music. I can't hear you, I'm listening to music. If you want to buy something, take it and leave the money. Oh, okay, thanks. Again, I can't hear you. Um, hello. I can't hear you, but if you want something I'm selling, just take it and leave the money. Alright, sell supplies. Uh, what should... Oh, I can sell things to her. That's nice. Awesome. Okay, well, I don't really... I don't think I really need that at the minute. Just gonna focus on getting to the fourth floor. Making a friend. I'm assuming my health bar is low because I've got blood on the sides of my screen. Oh, yeah, it's a bit low. <laughs> right, so I'm going to have a cup of coffee. That did nicely. I'm going to have another cup of coffee. And that also did nicely. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. So the blood on the side of the screen. Wow. Huff, huff. Wasn't that Kate, the girl I met in the lobby? It was. So the blood on the corner of the screen kind of represents my... Help Equip. Thank you. Is it? Oh, oh, it's this building. Right, I've got to find Kate because I, I. Oh, for the, oh, it's this. Whoops. It's this floor. Hello. Hi. 
Hello. This is not the place to talk, Mr. Pasternak. We are under surveillance. S sorry, do we know each other? Nobody can see us together. We will find you for your evaluation letter. Until then, pretend. Okay, whatever you say. I'm looking for Kate. Is this Kate? Okay, whatever that. Photocopies, copies, copies. Oh, God. You're losing it. Hello. Hello, good morning. Nice to meet you, partner. Uh, I don't know if you remember me. We met in the lobby. Ah, of course, I remember you, Brian. Did everything work out with that letter in the end? I mean, you're here, so I guess it did. Yeah, well, sort of. I'm working on the fifth floor. You're pulling my leg. Um, nope. The fifth floor? Well, Brian, congratulations. How come you're not jumping for joy? Come on, jump, jump. She's working so hard. Wow, I'm so jealous of you. Well, it's not such a such a good job, to tell you the truth. It's a bit... You haven't noticed anything weird? I mean, haven't you seen any dangerous thing or any strange creatures around here? Ah, that. Yeah, I see weird things all the time. I, also, uh, I was also surprised by this peculiar atmosphere at first. But Brian, we're newcomers. It is normal that we're not used to how things work here. And of course, we're going to be outdone by professional work at this level. We have a lot to learn. Yeah, I guess. But still, it's a little dangerous. Look, I already got a, I already got the hang of it. Should I tell you the secret? Oh, please. When I see or believe that there is a dangerous creature nearby, watch. Easy peasy. I'm under the table. <laughs> okay, girl. They hardly ever see you here. You wait a little while for the danger to go away and then continue working as if nothing had happened. I don't think about... I didn't think about that. The truth is there are always plenty of places to duck. <sighs> so I'm going to have to start ducking now, am I? Sure. And if you don't have a table nearby, you can get into one of these closets. Watch. Easy peasy, I've disappeared. <laughs> I see you've got it under control. I know it's all a little weird. It's a little weird for me also. But at business school, they always told us that we had to be positive and proactive. Also, if we give up so easily on our first job, we may not be taken seriously in the next ones. You'll see, Brian. Once we get used to the dynamics of the company, everything will go smoothly. By the way, what are you doing here? Hey, uh... Well, Colonial Dumont, a very strange fellow with a horse. So, he told me I had to come to the fourth floor and make a friend... And, well, I thought that may maybe you... Ah, the break's over. I have to reconvene the marketing department. But I haven't finished yet, as you'll have 30,000 photocopies to organise. I don't know how I'm going to get them sorted out in time. I can help you if you want. Really? But weren't you telling me you were, go you, you were doing a horse tour? Ah, uh, no, no, don't worry. I have some free time. Thank you very much, Brian. Oh my god, someone's dead at the desk. I don't remember if we saw that last time. Okay, so this is the marketing department. <coughs> Good. <laughs> right, and why are they on all fours? I think it's the latest trend in yoga while you're working. For employees, that, for, for employees are missing, they must all be somewhere on this floor. Hmm, they won't be dangerous, will they? They're usually harmless, but if you tell them something they don't like, they'll throw a tantrum. I advise you to look around for good marketing slogans and use them to convince them to follow you. But keep in mind that each person is different and has different tastes. Bring them here when you've convinced them. Alright, leave it to me. Thank you, Brian. Bloody hell. Right, is there anything... It's empty. Okay, cool. Right, so I've got a... i got to look for some slogans. Syndicorp, when you like your job, holidays, holiday day, holiday, every day is a holiday. They're travel magazines. When you like your work, every day is a holiday. Funny headline, I'll remember that. Oh, I get it. So, to be quite frank, I don't need to press anything. I just need to... Do I have a pencil? I do. I can't reach it from here. I have to get a bit a little closer. Oh, okay. What about now? Lovely. Jubbly. Fuck my life. 
There we go. Lovely. There's someone on the floor there. That's great. Just what I needed in life. Right, can I check your thing, please? He's dead. No shit, Sherlock. He has a briefcase, but it's locked with a combination. Or maybe it's on its desk somewhere. From what I can see on the screen, this employee was messaging a colleague, but I can't see what he was writing. Lovely. Okay, so I'm not I'm not even looking at his screen anymore. Go away. Oh. Yeah, let's let's all crawl along the floor, shall we? There's a message on the screen. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Um good Oh god. Good to know, I guess. Uh you were out on the floor there. <laughs> Just running around. Right, so there's a combination lock that I've now gotta find. And I don't know how to. <laughs> Um Okay, that's empty, so I've already obviously uh, blah blah blah. I've already searched in there, I guess. Oh, stop. Oh, that's gonna get really annoying. Because I don't know whether I'm gonna be able to I don't know whether I'm gonna be under the table or not now. Right, so <sighs> What? Don't even know why is go get out of here. I I guess you you're right there, sir. Eating wires. Pretty sure that's not good for your digestion, but whatever floats your boat. Right. Can I do something about. Oh, yeah, I can't go in there because of the green gas. Which sounds really bad. <laughs> sounds really bad coming. I don't know. Oh, it hurts so much. What's wrong with you? What is going on here? So, what did the doctor say? He said, make your diet your best medicine. So you have to eat better. No, he told me to take these meal replacement pills. Look, look. Make your deep diet your best medicine. Nicotrol. Make your diet your best medicine. That's good advice. I'll remember that. Am I supposed to, like, be running back to her and telling her about slogans and stuff? Oh, he's disappeared. Okay. Hi, girly. Wait, so if I... Oh, I have to press E. Okay, fair enough. Right, so if I talk to you, what am I supposed to do? You have to take the marketing department back to their cubicle, get close to the employees who are on all fours, and tell them something to convince them to follow you. But don't tell them just anything. They each have different tastes. It looks like four employees are still missing. Right, so... I'm assuming it's besides them. Unite and be free. Their company union pamphlet. Unite and be free. I got a hook. I remember this phrase. Okay, right. We've already we've already searched that. Right. So, okay. She's on all fours. But how do I get how do I get to her? This is so weird. I just told him to be unite and be free and he's following me on literally all fours. <laughs> right. So, I assume that now I go back to her, Okay, so I've got three employees. Three employees to look for. This door is locked, isn't it? Yeah, I thought so. I. I. I need to get to her, but I don't know how. There's green gas there, so I can't go that way. There's an open message. It says, I've already taken the book for my idiot partner. Stop by my cubicle later and take the book to your desk to hide it. It's in my briefcase. The keys. The key is 981. Perfect, 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 perfect. Where, where was this guy's briefcase again? <laughs> I forgot. Oh, that dude. That dude's on all fours. <laughs> right, nine, eight, one. Swallow your anger. Pretend. I think it's a self-help book. Swallow your anger and pretend. Uh, pretend. Good advice. I'll remember that. Right, Mister. Come here. Whoops. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Grr. Um. Make your diet your best medicine. Ow. Guess I have to leave him and come back until he calms, like, calms right down. I didn't know they attacked like that. I missed what he said, so I... Oh, God. I'm going to assume that you're... Because you're on all fours. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, make your diet your best medicine. Okay, here we go. Hey, man, man. Thanks uh, thanks for getting that goat off my back. He wanted to chew all the wires. You're welcome. My name is Pasternak. You can call me Dolshi. I'm the IT guy. 
Oh, so you're busy fixing computers. No way, I'm I'm gutting them to keep the best components. Oh, it's late. I have to leave before the Matrix wake, wakes up. Matrix? The dot matrix, man. Are you new? Yeah, I started today. Well, you'd better catch up with the local Fournia man. Here, a welcome present. You've got a screwdriver. I have a workshop on the third floor. If you drop by later, maybe I can show you some super cool stuff. Oh, thank you very much. Peace, man. Peace, dude. It's just bizarre, the fact that there's someone on there all, on all their fours. Just following me around the office. Right, okay, so I take it there's two more to go. I know where one of them is, but they're pretty pissed at me right now. And the only other person that I think is the one to come with me is the one in that little cubicle. But obviously, whoopsie. But obviously, I can't get to her because she's in the thing. Oh, look, you've calmed down now. Come here. Grr. Unite and be free. When you like your work, swallow your anger, pretend. There we go. I didn't realise that this was the pissed off one. I should have noticed, but I just didn't somehow. Blood Trail. It's a VHS tape titled Video Club Mysterio Blood Trail. You got a VHS tape. Cool. <coughs> you got one battery. Awesome. I looked this up because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. But it doesn't seem to help me on how to get to this woman down here. Oh, okay. So that makes sense now. So I've got to really think about everything now, which is kind of difficult because me and thinking do not mix. Come here, lady. Come here. Oi, don't make me chase you. I'm actually having to chase her. Like, she's right there and she's just... Will you come here? She... Okay, there we go. Jesus. Hawaii, Bombay, paradise. Uh, When you like your work, every day is holiday. Will you follow me under the desk? Yes. Good girl. Cool. <laughs> I must look so retarded walking around an office with who? With um I've they've only been hiring hicks lately. And how do you know that? Because they love their goats so much they take them everywhere. Wow. I was just about to say they they we must look so weird that the fact that I'm wandering around with people on all fours following me mustn't look that great. Well, that's all four of them. Um sorry Brian, but something happened. Marketing girl who was already inside just escaped. I tried to catch her but it was impossible. She got into HR. It's the door on the corner. Yeah. Your point. Poor thing, sick of marketing and slogans, and she always goes there to get a new job. No problem. I'll take a look. Thank you, Brian. Oh, watch your step in there. The HR girls are a little cheeky. But if you remember the little tricks I told you about, you won't have a problem. Oh, that's good to know. Right, I'm going to save before I go in there. And uh, and then I can climb up the thing, -a -thing I guess. And then I can... <coughs> I can climb up here, right? This book is mostly empty. I can climb it. Shall I go up? Uh, yes. See if I don't kill myself. What are you doing? <laughs> um, well. Yoga? You're all over it, Brian. Fitness is very important in these sedentary office jobs. She actually bought that. Oh, hold on. I got a screwdriver for a reason. <laughs> I'll try and unscrew the grid. Blimey. Right. Which way do I have to go? Does it matter? Oh, briefcase. You got one packet of coffee powder. There's a clipping from a society magazine. Was the recent funeral of the Harris of the Sintra Fortune part of the cover-up? Unofficial sources seem to believe so as they have as they have been unable to access the autopsy report so far. I'm assuming we're getting told little secrets, but obviously they're not going to blatantly tell us the whole entire story like straight off the bat otherwise it would make no sense. Hi guys, I have arrived. Ah, 
Hey, you, wait. Can I talk to everyone? What is that uh, in the top corner there? I've been told you have to open your mouth when they spit on you. Is that true? Um, I would like to think not. Can I talk to you? No. Can I talk to you? No. Can I talk to you? No. Can I talk to you? No, never mind. That's cool. It was good. It was good chatting, guys. Um, I keep pressing... Who came in? Closer. Come closer. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. I don't see anything useful in here. Oh, okay. So I literally just have to run for my life. It sounds like there's a turkey, but I can't obviously be too sure. I'm eating raw pizza, guys. <laughs> Please don't judge me. <laughs> yeah, they blocked it off, so I shouldn't really be... Oh my god, there was a dude naked just there. Oh my god. Okay, that's something. Right, there we go. One sheet of witch paper. Where are you going? And why? Let's welcome him, girls. Oh, fuck my life. Hello. What are you doing? I don't know. I don't know if... Oh, maybe. Hi. Something bothering you? I don't know anything about resumes. Not much, really. Do you know anything about resumes? Not much, really. Well, you can't help me then. Come back when you know something. Alright, you can't really talk. You're fucking naked. <coughs> w -w -w what is that? Welcome, Manta. Come closer. I was waiting for you. Do you want me to kiss you? <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> Haven't you ever been kissed? I'll make a man out of you. Isn't that what you came for? That thing is not right. It's giving me a very bad feeling. I shouldn't go near it. I gotta find the marketing girl and get out of here. I see. You don't even want to talk to me. Are you shy or are you afraid of me? Is it that the company hires cowards as hunters now? Are you... are you the witch? <laughs> I'm just a friend who wants to help you. What kind of help? I have a clue. A clue about her. You don't believe me? Look, look. Nasty. Is that an egg? It's a very important clue about the witch's identity. Come closer if you want to take it. I can't quite see what it is from here, but it looks like a photograph. I'm assuming she's gonna hurt. Knew it! <clears throat> Knew it! You're fired. <laughs> I went back, went through everything. I was one of the guys sitting down, as you can see, by the snake tongue lips. And this is this guy's slogan for his resume. <laughs> Lick me and let me explode in your mouth. It's perfect, don't you think? It's a... Uh, maybe you wouldn't have. I mean, it's a bit direct, right? And what do you know? You didn't even know resume should have slogans. Bumpkin. <clears throat> okay, what about you? Do you have a slogan? Hi. No. The delicious mouth doesn't want to taste me. That thing on the wall? You really want her to eat you? What a question. Isn't that what we all want? The pleasure of being desired, getting recognition from your company, promotion? But the mouth doesn't love us all equally. Some of them are savoured for a while, and then she spits them out. She didn't even spit on me. But I can't give up. They say there's a way to trick her. There's an object, a magical symbol that she can't resist. A symbol? Some say it's a figure of voodoo magic. If you wear it, she'll notice you. She'll want you. She'll pull you in. But if you don't have it, she can't see you. She doesn't love you. And that makes me very sad because she doesn't love me. She had a capital S. I'm assuming that that's the witch. Can I talk? No! Crap! I kind of just slid in there. Right, that's what she said. Right. I'm going to run back the entire way 
again. Back again. Forty <laughs> second fucking time. <laughs> right, I got two batteries. Awesome. I don't see anything useful here. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, because I need to move this out of the way so that when I oh twenty five credits, so that I can you know get all miss. Oh, interesting. Extra responsibility. Extra responsibility. Same salary. Extra responsibility. It's not really all the convincing, but I'll remember it. No more marketing. Like me, and let me explain. Extra responsibility. Ow. She wants lick me and let me explode inside your mouth. This one then. I can't believe I'm doing this. Ew. Lick me and let me explode inside your mouth. That's. What else is there that's gonna work? <laughs> Maybe there's another slogan elsewhere that I'm just not aware of yet. Woo! Shit! Okay. Um. What about if I go. Fuck. Trying to think. So she wants nothing to do with no more marketing. But the thing is, I've got no more slogans, as they say. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I guess they're driving me in because they know that I won't speak to little miss what's her face. No more marketing, no more slogans, just be yourself. And then I'm assuming I've just got to take this lovely lady or that the picture is the best clue I've ever come across. I can't leave without it. What in the hell am I supposed to... Hello? Oh, there you are. <laughs> what in the hell am I supposed to use Oh my nose to get that no 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 I'm just gonna have to let her take me on I that is so annoying oh my god okay I tell you what I'm gonna leave this here because I don't want to keep spending all day trying to get past her and I can't I was looking up on how to do things and it said that there was a little paper doll that I had mysteriously acquired which I didn't even notice until now um and apparently I'm supposed to attach this to someone and then go near the mouth but apparently it just doesn't work that way um so anyways I'm gonna leave this video here um I'm gonna come back to this very shortly I did want to say also that I do have a lot of itch.io games to get through because um, I did ask quite a few game developers if I could play their game on my channel. So, and I'll, pretty much everyone gave me the heads up so that I could do it. The reason I do ask, as um, some of you might be wondering why I do ask rather than just playing the game, is because uh, uh, I do I have come across some game developers that want me to play their game, but they don't want me to actually do a recording and upload it until like they've completely finished what they're doing which um like completely finished their game which i kind of think should have happened with yesterday's game was it yesterday's game or the day before um with feel gear like i know that there was like quite a few issues with that game um but uh i sent my video to the game developer but they didn't get back unless i just haven't checked my messages but then again i did check earlier today and they haven't responded um so it, it's for bits like that so some game developers just genuinely don't want you to do a recording until they fully finish their game um whereas some are just appreciative that you ask them before you just go ahead and record a video and then upload it um because i got quite a few um appreciative comments back saying like thank you for asking rather than just going ahead and doing doing a video so that's why i do ask it's just out of uh, uh, manners I don't, I don't know <laughs> i just ask for me to feel better because if i do if i do a video there are a couple of games where you aren't actually able to get in contact with the game developer that if they do find that the video that i've made and they want me to take it down then by all means i will but i will always ask first it's just for me it would just feel better if i did but anyways um if you did like this video, please click that like button down below. And while you're there, please click the subscribe button so you're told when my next Yuppie Psycho video has been uploaded. Bye! <laughs>